Hey guys, Carl Cooper here with On the Black with my Friday fan comments where I look back at some of the comments uh, that were left for me uh, throughout the week. First, I want to start over at the On the Black Facebook fan page and this comment comes from Harley and uh, he says, I say it's going to be the Rangers in seven. Uh, just a gut feeling. It's going to be a very hard-fought series and he's posting a comment on uh, the video I did on my World Series predictions. Well, after uh, game two, uh, the Rangers are down 2-0. Um, so if the Rangers are going to win this series, uh, it probably will be in seven games. I don't think the series is over yet. I think the Giants uh, did what they needed to do at home and made sort of a statement to the Rangers. Be interesting to see how the Rangers battle back. Uh, over the weekend, but I, you know, I, I don't think the series is over. I, I still, still think that there's probably a lot of fight left in the Rangers. Uh, second comment over at my YouTube channel, uh, and this one was on the video for uh, my choice to be uh, the Mets GM. Uh, and this comment comes from Mr. NY Sports, and he says, I will go with Alderson too. Uh, he's experienced and a no nonsense guy, and as for now, it seems like they've hired Alderson. What do you, who do you think will be the, the Mets manager? And you're right, it uh, looks like that the Mets have hired Alderson, uh, scheduled for a press conference on uh, Friday. Uh, in terms of manager, no idea who the manager is going to be at this point. I just hope whoever uh, Sandy Alderson hires as the Met manager is someone that's going to make some good in-game decisions, uh, use the bullpen properly, and puts the players in a position to succeed. So, uh, but we'll see. And the last comment comes from over at the On the Black blog. Uh, and this comment is from Metsy. And this comment was left on a video I did, which was a Q&A on the Mets closer situation. And Metsy says... Uh, in reference to Francisco Rodriguez, he would actually be an attractive trade target since he will have an option available to his new team given uh, them some contract flexibility. And what Metsy is referring to, and I think it's a good point, is that uh, after the 2011 season, K-Rod has a, a team option uh, which the Mets can either uh, accept or decline. And, you know, if K-Rod comes into the spring into spring training and he's pitching well and he does good throughout the season, if the Mets are really out of it by um, the trade deadline in 2011, maybe K-Rod is someone that the Mets can dangle out there as trade bait, uh, get him off of the Mets and get something in return for him. And that's a good point. I mean, obviously, we're a long way away from that and a lot of things could could happen. But just looking down the road, that is a possibility and a good point by Metsy. So uh, those are uh, the, the comments for for this week. Let me know what you guys think and I'll talk to you soon.